There's been some recent changes to who will receive a 1099-K form for this tax season, which has led to some major confusion. I'm going to clear that all up today. I'm Mark Stever, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt. I'll also share more details about what exactly a 1099-K form is, how it could actually be good for your taxes, what happens if you don't report the 1099-K information, and a lot more. What is the 1099-K form that I've heard so much about, and who receives it? The Form 1099-K is not new, and it's been around for decades. It is a form that reports payments you received during the year from apps, companies, platforms, or payment settlement entities like PayPal, Venmo, eBay, ticket exchange sites, crowdfunding platforms, and potentially many more. In late November 2023, the IRS announced that it would be delaying changes of the new $600 reporting threshold for third-party apps. This change will reduce the potential confusion caused by the projected distribution of an estimated 44 million Form 1099-K to be sent to many taxpayers who some may have not been expecting one. As a result, reporting will not be required unless the taxpayer receives over $20,000 and has more than 200 transactions in 2023. In 2024, the IRS is planning for a new threshold of $5,000 for tax year 2024 as part of a phase-in to implement the $600 reporting threshold enacted under the American Rescue Plan. But people who earn money using third-party platforms and from self-employment should still work with a tax professional even if they don't get a Form 1099-K. If you have self-employment income, you still have to report that on your tax return. Just because someone is not getting a 1099-K this year and the IRS is postponing the threshold changes does not mean that the money that they've earned is an income. The change is who will receive a 1099-K form, not changing what is considered taxable income. If someone fails to report taxable income, they risk penalties and interest from the IRS. Come 2024, people who use these apps should make sure that their accounts and profiles are set up correctly as personal, or as business accounts. As personal transactions are not reportable income for a tax return, like sending money for gifts or sharing the cost of a meal. But the casual sale of goods and services just might be. So think about it if you're a gig worker, a freelancer, or self-employed. The bottom line is this. The 1099-K form is for people who earn money and get paid using these payment app platforms. Again, it's not for the average person who is sending money to their friends and family for personal transactions. Personal transactions or person-to-person transactions are exempt from reporting. Who will send the 1099-K form? These forms will come from the apps and companies you use, PayPal, Venmo, and similar companies. It will not come from the IRS, but be cautious. The IRS will also receive the forms that they send to you. And like other forms, 1099-Ks must be provided to you by January 31st. So be on the lookout for them in the mail, online, or in the apps themselves. And just because you do not receive the form but do have business transactions does not mean you don't have the reporting responsibility. You need to file an accurate tax return with this information or risk issues down the road. How much do you have to sell to get a 1099-K? Well, the easiest way to understand is if you're selling something for a profit, you're earning an income. Hobby or an official business, full-time, part-time, on the side, with a regular job or not, it does not matter. If you sell goods and services and use a third-party platform, you may get a 1099-K from the company this year if you received over $20,000 and have more than 200 transactions. If you earned less than $20,000 and don't get a 1099-K form from any company, do you still have to report the income to the IRS? Why, yes, this is where more confusion lies with self-employment income. Earnings have always been taxable and always been considered taxable by the IRS. This is not a new rule. Even if you do not receive a 1099-K form, or a W-2 for W-2 traditional wages for that matter, you should still report all earnings to the IRS. Bottom line is this. 
Even though the IRS is not changing the threshold for who is receiving a 1099K for 2023, if you're earning money, it should be reported. Even if you don't receive a 1099K, but know that you have earned money from your freelance, gig, or self-employment income, it must be reported on your tax return. If you don't report earned income, you risk penalties and interest from the IRS and states. That's why it's so important to keep good records of your income and talk with your tax pro about everything. First, how do you keep good records so you know what should be reported to the IRS in your tax return and what should be on the 1099-K form you receive? Maintaining accurate records is key for filing a federal and state tax return. Save all business receipts. Track all income paid to you and organize your financial documents throughout the year. If you keep good records year round, this will make filing your tax return easier and less of a chance for the IRS to audit your tax return. Don't count on just looking back through your transactions within the app or payment settlement entity. It might not all be in one place. You received a 1099-K that reports money you earned on it. Is that all taxable? The simple answer is no. What's reported on the 1099-K is the gross amount of money that you should have received, assuming that it was earnings from business transactions. But the full amount likely is not all taxable, because you have expenses that can be deducted from this amount, and that's what's actually considered taxable to the IRS. What's a tax deduction, you ask? Well, deductions reduce the total taxable income you've earned before you calculate the tax you owe. Credits, on the other hand, can increase your tax refund or also reduce the amount of tax you owe. Deductions related to the 1099-K form are any business-related expense. And if you're a gig worker and have self-employment income, you probably have business expenses that can be deducted. For example, let's say you're a dog walker. You can deduct expenses related to your business that help you upkeep your business. So money used for marketing, pet care supplies, business insurance, and more. Essentially, if you have self-employment income and receive a 1099-K, it means you can take advantage of deductions that you can't with a traditional wage job that has income reported on the W-2. If you receive a 1099-K related to gig work or freelance work, what are some common tax deductions that you can claim? Well, if you have self-employment income related to your gig or freelance activities, you have a greater opportunity to deduct expenses than if you worked as an employee. There are numerous deductions that could qualify if they're related to your business expenses and operations. Some of the most common include the cost of supplies, tools and equipment needed to do your job, marketing cost, business mileage, and even operating a home office. Lastly, if you're self-employed and work with a tax professional, the IRS allows you to deduct their fees. So you have no reason not to work with a tax professional. There's some more benefits you should know about, like the fact that you can lower your tax bill if you have a solo 401k retirement plan and make contributions. Plus, if this is your first year, you can deduct up to $5,000 in business startup costs. As a self-employed taxpayer, a 1099-K form can complicate your taxes, and it's smart to get professional advice. If you have any transactions or receive a 1099-K form for the first time, don't go it alone. If mistakes are made, it could be costly and give you major headaches with the IRS. We have tax pros across the country that are experts in federal, state, and local tax laws, so you don't have to go it alone if you feel overwhelmed, and they will help you file your tax returns. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more information. And hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things taxes. And tell me in the comments, which app payment or side hustle platform do you find works best for you? Schedule an appointment with a tax pro at jacksonhewitt.com today.